Hey guys, and uh, welcome to my 37 week video. Um, I had just started recording and done like half a video and then realised it wasn't recording, so that's a bugger. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I'm full term now, that's just crazy. I honestly do not know where the time's gone. Um, I was planning on doing a 36 week video, but that week just like flew by, so I have no idea. Where that went, <laughs> but yeah, we went to, um, me and my husband went away to Auckland to, um, to go to this wedding, so we went just on our own without the kitties, so that was like really nice to, um, go away, because it was also for our, um, seventh wedding anniversary. Jordan's parents came and looked after the kids, so we were kind of, yeah, we were free for the weekend, which is just amazing, because... Um, yeah, like, we have never, ever been away from the kids for more than a night before, so... Um, yeah, we just went away for two nights and stayed in this hotel near the beach, and it was, like, really nice, and I was able to do all the things that I can't normally do with the kids, like going shopping, and we went out for dinner and saw a movie and things like that, so... And then we went to our friend's wedding the next day. So it was awesome to get away, it was kind of like a little pre-baby moon thing, so... It's still school holidays at the moment, so I have not had a chance to get things done. The kids are going crazy, um, they're so ready to go back to school, because they've just got all this pent-up energy, and Austin's been racking up the other little ones, and they just run around screaming, and... <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm ready for them to go back, so... That will be good, they go back in a week. So, um, that might coincide with the baby possibly coming. Yeah, I just, I can't imagine having this baby by the end of the week, but it could happen if it's the same as the other boys, so I had them both at 38 weeks, but yeah, um, so I have had a few little, um, labour symptoms, but nothing that's like made me go oh this this could be it but it's all just been the build up like the day I was getting like really sharp pains every time the baby moved like because it was so down low on my cervix so I felt every little movement and it was like <gasps> takes your breath away sometimes but um yeah so that day um that was probably like the most laborish I felt um and then that evening I started getting like quite intense contractions and like really crampy as well and they were coming quite frequently for a couple of hours so that was like the night we thought oh we better start setting up the birth pool and just to make sure it's got no holes in it and setting up like the birth supplies just in case something did happen and then like I made up the the bassinet bed for the baby and got out a few towels and things like that so uh, yeah, so now we're like pretty much sorted if the baby does come. I still need to lay out a few little things and I might do a video of like all the birth supplies once once it's all set up. So, um, this week my midwife is coming to do a home visit so it'd be good for her to see where, like where we're going to be having the birth and setting up the pool and things so, and then just to see where we live so that will be nice and yeah so everything is just like getting ready for the baby to come anytime so we'll just have to wait and see when it does come it could take longer this time but who knows hello Austin, do you want to say hi? hello <laughs> so we've been busy, we've been picking plums and plum cots off the ground, they're falling every day and We've just got a bounty of fruit that that's keeping me busy as well because I just have no idea what to do with it all. But we've got about um, fifty or forty pieces of fruit. Probably more than that, but but yeah, I've been making some jam and I've yeah, been some jam. Doing some fruit leather and fruit leather. yeah, it's like roll ups. Oh, and just maybe some dried fruit as well. So we have to yeah, that's been 
filling out my time at the moment as well. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to having this baby out of me now. <laughs> so I can like finally have my... Just the feeling like you get when you're suddenly not pregnant anymore. It's just like such a relief of... I can breathe again, I can like... my stomach feels good again and... Your energy, you just kind of get it back straight away. Which is, yeah... Um, a good feeling, but yeah, I'm sure this baby will come out soon, probably in the next two weeks, if not by the end of the week, so I'll keep you guys updated on like what's happening if anything does start to happen, so um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys my belly. My battery's about to run out. There's the belly. I'm finding it really hard to bend down and do things now. But I still managed to paint my toenails on the weekend though, so that was something I guess. I guess I have it a bit better than some other way some other ladies that get massive. So there's the little baby bump. Still feeling all the legs and feet over up on this side, sticking out and... Um, yeah, that's baby. For 37 weeks. So yeah, that's it from me and I'll see you with or without the baby next time.